it's time for favorites again. It is now February 2nd. That is insane. Every time month flies by, I say the same thing, so I'll just skip that. We all know how we all feel. Time flies by. Blah, blah, blah. So I'll just jump in. I have a couple new things or things that I haven't really used in a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start. So, um, I've been loving blue nail polish lately. This looks more like a purpley blue, but, um, I don't know why. I said this before, like, January winter reminds me of blue, and, um, so yeah, I've just been really enjoying blue nail polish. Um, Birchbox kind of kicked it off with this little, um, sample size, um, of an Alessandro nail polish. It's called Blue Lagoon, and I did wear this, um, probably half of the month. I really, really like it. It's like a nice, creamy, light blue. Not like super light, but like a medium blue, and I really, really like this. I got a lot of compliments on my nails with this. Um, I even had a couple friends asking if they could um, borrow this. So, really good nail polish. And then my other one is um, OPI's Russian Navy. And um, I have this on right now. My nails look terrible. I know it's on my to-do list to paint my nails today. But this is what it looks like, um, minus the gold. So, I think it's like a really nice um, shimmery blue. But in the bottle, it looks kind of purplish. You can kind of see that. Um... But I've really, really been liking this. So this has been on my nails recently, the past like week and a half. I really need to change my nail polish. Um, so yeah, blue nail polish has been a favorite this month. Um, next is this MAC blush in Launch Away. This is from their um, Hey Sailor collection last summer. Um, it's just a really nice light um, pinky peach color. It looks really, really light in here. It transfers better on the cheeks. I actually don't have it on today, um, but I've been wearing it quite a bit, so let me just swatch it for you. It's what it looks like. You can kind of see that. It's really sheer, like, it's e like you don't have to worry about, like, getting too much on your face at one time. I mean, I always, I always start off with less and work more, but this one I can just kind of like swish, swirl my brush in and put it on and be good to go. So I've really been liking that. I probably wore that um, like 25 days this month. It's been insane. Um, my next one is um, my MAC Paint Pot in Bear Study. This is a favorite amongst a lot of beauty gurus. I've had this for a while. Um, you can tell I've used quite a bit of it, um, but it doesn't really take a whole lot of this. And I've been wearing this either like by itself, um, just with some eyeliner and mascara, or I put it under a lot of um, my eyeshadows. So there's just a little swatch, and then I'll, if you can see that. It's just like a nice iridescent, like champagne color. It goes well under a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, I've really been liking that. Um, <clears throat> to go along with that is my MAC um, Fluid Line and Black Track. I've been wearing gel liner like it's going out of style this month. Um, I've had this for a while. I'm getting there. Um, I like can't wait to finish something like this and just feel like super satisfied about finishing it. So there's that. Um, I usually just put that on with a Sigma um, eyeliner brush. That's what I have on today. And then... Something else that I purchased at the end of January, right before my no-buy started, which I'm doing really well on. Um, there was one exception, but I told myself about that before, but that'll be a whole nother video. So, um, I purchased this in January, or in December, and it's, um, the Bare Minerals Well-Rested Powder. Um, it says that on the back. And this, um, I've known about the Bare Minerals line for a while, um, when I was in high school, it was, like, huge. Um, like, that's when, like, you would see all those infomercials and commercials and everything about it. But it's just this, um, light powder. And you, it's kind of like a powder to set your concealer and kind of make you look a little bit more awake. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got it on today. Um, and I just put it on with a, um, Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush. So I just kind of swirl it in and I... Just kind of put it underneath my eyes and I feel like it does brighten up my under eye. There were definitely days where I didn't wear um, like a full face of makeup and I would just put on a little bit of concealer and mascara and then I would put that under and it just really brightens your eyes and makes you not look so tired. So even if you're not wearing um, a full face of makeup, you still look 
um, awake and not tired and yeah so I've really been liking that and it doesn't take a whole lot it just takes a little bit so this container I'm thinking will probably last me a while and I'm okay with that I really can't remember how much this was I want to say somewhere uh, maybe 18 ish dollars um, yeah so I don't really remember but it was it wasn't too much for me to think oh my gosh I can't spend that much money so there's that if I'm completely wrong on the price you guys can like laugh at me in the comments below um, okay my next um, favorite is this L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition Mascara. Um, I have a little piece of mascara on there. Um, I've really been liking this. Um, I just have it in blackest black. Um, this was one that I had had sitting um, in my mascara drawer um, and it was just time to use it. So it just has a pretty standard um, brush and I really like it. It's what I've been wearing. A lot of this month after I got rid of some empties, which that's another video, it'll be up sometime soon. Um, but I really, really like this. It makes my lashes look good. It isn't too clumpy. Um, I can definitely put on a couple coats and feel okay with this. And it's drugstore, so it's really lightweight too, like it's not heavy. Um, so there's that. And then um, my last favorite is Charcoal Brown by MAC. Um, I use this to fill in my brows. now. Um, before I've been using, been using my Revlon Brow Fantasy and it's like a pencil and then it has the gel on the other end and I've actually just been filling in with powder recently, um, just kind of switched it up and I really like the way my brows look, um, and then I'll just go over it with the gel end of the, um, Revlon Brow Fantasy, but I've really been liking this, I think it's a good match for my eyebrows, um, and it was just something different to try, you know, instead of using the pencil end of the Revlon Brow Fantasy. So, and then there's one fail that I have to tell you guys about because this was like the ultimate fail of fails. And I feel like I have a hair on my lip somewhere. Got it. <laughs> okay, where's it at? So if any of you watched my Birchbox video, um, you'll know I was pretty pleased with everything I got in my video. I was kind of sick when I filmed it. And so I didn't um, spray this perfume. It is a Harvey Prince Skinny Chic, Skinny Chick perfume. I didn't spray it because I didn't want to like inhale anything and you know start coughing or sneezing or something and so I waited and then I later on like a couple days later I sprayed it on this and I really do like the scent of it. It's very um, fruity and um, has a little bit of citrusy that I can smell and um, I really really liked the scent so I was like okay well then you know like the next time I get like um, dressed up or go to school or something you know that I'm not like laying around in my pajamas I will go ahead and um, spray this little puppy and I did and it was the worst experience ever um, I broke out on my chest if you follow me on Instagram you will see the picture that I put it looked absolutely disgusting and I've been trying to wear scarves and like shirts that come up really high all week because it's so embarrassing I don't want people to see this like my chest was beet red it had like what looked like little pimples all over my chest you probably can't see it now I mean it's a little bit still there but um, I will insert that picture that I put on Instagram Um, because I can't believe that that broke me out that bad. I've tried other Harvey Prince perfumes, I've never had that problem, so I don't know what is in this, but this I'm throwing away, and I am now really weary of using any kind of Harvey Prince or any of these perfume samples in here because that was like, it was terrible. It itched, it was hot, it, like nothing worked except this um, aloe lotion that I put on. So major fail on that end of the spectrum <sighs> yeah so I think that's it um yeah I, th I think that's it there's really nothing else to say um if you make favorites videos please put it as a video response below if not just let me know what your favorites were for the month of January also if you have any um ideas of stuff I can buy when my no buy ends in about three weeks I'm so excited um, then just put those down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I feel like I kind of rushed through it and spoke really fast, but that's okay. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.